kazi ya wanadada na pengine una ward gani kwa yeah. Kenya Mkami? Ah uh, ward um, uh, anafanya Nadia Mukami ni ni msanii ambaye anafanya vizuri sana. Na nimewahi kufanya naye ngoma, kuna ngoma nimefanya na Nadia Mukami pamoja na Saru inaitwa Mua. Um, so she killed it kwenye ule wimbo. I've never had a doubt um kwake yeye kwenye sana yake. So um hata ile award it was just it I, I'll say it's long overdue. Kwa hiyo kama unipata award congratulations my sister na um, I'm happy to see um that Juzi tu amekuwa mama yes. yes. Amepata mtoto. Kwa hiyo um What's up, what's up guys, this is Tumbili, Indania Tumbili TIV, tukona Jalango TV, tukona Beni, tukona SPM na tukopia na B-Live. Na hapa as you can see, tukona uh, msani mkubwa sana, wanamuita mama omolo, amo kipenda rosary. Mambo vipi? Kwanza karibu Kenya. Asante. Uko vizuri. Najua hapa hivi ni kama nyumbani. Pengine hatuwezi yeah. kukuuliza ni mara ya ngapi kwa sababu hapa hivi imekuwa home sana. Yeah. So pengine utatuambia uh, what's the purpose of us having you in Kenya right now? Um, well there's many things ambazo nime nimekuja kufanya of course kama ulivyosema huku ni kama nyumbani. Kwa hiyo naweza nikawa nimekuja kutembea tu sebleni kwangu, si ndio? <laughs> Lakini um, leo tuko hapa Kariobangi uh, PAG uh, Church. Um, tumekuja kukutana na Symbol of Hope tukiwa kama uh, Mirami Initiative um, pamoja na Mzazi Foundation um, na tumekuja kuwaona uh, survivors ambao ni wa uh, saratani au cancer uh, wengi wametupa testimony zao wamepitia vitu vingi sana na kama Mirami Initiative tunasimama kwa ajili ya afya ya akili ambao ni mental health. Mental health ni kitu ambacho ni cha msingi sana lakini kwenye uh, jamii zetu, jamii yetu kiujumla tunakuwa tunaichukulia kama ah, ni baadaye sana ndio tunawaza mambo ya mental health ambao tunatakiwa tuanze nayo. Um, so tumesikia testimonies nyingi uh, many people are suffering from stigma. Um, mtu anakuwa na maradhi fulani lakini jamii inakuwa inamtenga katika namna moja au nyingine. Na ile inakuwa inaleta msongo wa mawa azo inaleta stress na kitu kama hivyo of which hapa wakiungana na sisi wote tukiungana pamoja tunatiana moyo na inakuwa ni rahisi kuweza kusonga mbele uh, kwa 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 kujiamini zaidi na kwa kujipa nguvu na moyo so hiyo ndo sababu tumekuja hapa uh, just to give back and to be part of the solution ambayo inatakiwa iletwe katika jamii na pengine huyuko peke yako uko na mwenzako hapa yeah. pengine pia yeye ajintroduce atuambie kaitu mm. ah kwa majina naitwa Arnold Endovo nasimamia mzazi foundation ah, sana sana tuko kule Kilifi ah, na kama vile jina mzazi huwa tunasaidia vijana kwa mambo ya mental health hiyo empowerment tunaelimisha vijana na mentorship ah, na pia tunafanya mambo ya HIV prevention na kwa hivyo ukifanya mambo ya HIV prevention kuna yale magonjwa ya TB kuna ya magonjwa ya saratani kwa hivyo pia inakuwa ile scope kubwa lazima pia uweze kusaidiana kule kwa hivyo sisi mo tunafanya advocacy na tuna target vijana sana kwa sababu tunataka tusaidie vijana kwa mambo ya HIV prevention mambo ya TB na STIs kwa ujumla kwa hivyo ni pia kuwasaidia kuelimisha kwa ile economic empowerment na pengine rosari mtu anaweza kujiuliza mzazi. Tunajua na mzazi ni mzazi wili enti. Uko na uhusiano gani na yeye huku nchini Kenya? Mzazi ni mzazi mzee. <laughs> sio sio kitu ambacho cha ku, cha kueleza sana lakini mzazi tu va ni naweza nika, nikasema ni mzazi wa sana uh, East Africa na ni mtu ambaye amenisupport sana katika mziki wangu katika career yangu tangia mwanzoni sana. Kwa hiyo ni ni, ni ni mtu ambaye anani menta kwenye vitu vingi na nilipoanzisha foundation yangu of course who else to to be able to to, to mentor um, me katika masuala ya, ya kijamii na mzazi he was the first person ambaye aliweza kuni, kunishika mkono hapa Kenya na kusema kwamba tufanye kazi pamoja kwa ajili ya ku kubadilisha mtazamo wa, wa kijamii katika namna moja au nyingine na kuempower watu zaidi. So kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo tumevipanga hata during the week tuta, tutafanya vitu vingine vingi 
kwa ajili ya ku, ku uplift watu katika jamii a pengine hapo Rosary umesema uh, Mira Me Foundation unazungumzia uh, masuala especially ya uh, mental mental health yeah. na tukiangalia miezi kadhaa hapo hivyo nyuma kidogo kulikuwa na story uh, Rosary is kind of depressed na mambo mengi yalitokea kwenye mitandao mm -hmm. pengine ndio ulikuja na Mira Me ama ilikuwa there before Mira Me ilikuwa hapo um, ni foundation au initiative ambayo tulianzisha mimi pamoja na, na dada zangu um, kwetu kwa watatu wote ni wanawake kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo tumewahi kupitia uh, katika maisha um, of course watu walifoka sana na ile ya, ya juzi kwa sababu ya zamani labda nikiwaambia hawataamini you know so maybe ile ndio ilikuwa kwenye limelight na watu wakaweza kufocus na lakini kiufupi ni, ni kwamba mimi nilitamani ku come out na kusema kwamba mnaweza mkamuona mtu labda anafanya mishe fulani au ni, ni msanii yupo kwenye limelight lakini ni mtu pia so i wanted people to experience uh, Rosary the human being um, rather than the goddess the 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 rapper the the, the you know the the rosary ambaye anachana sana kwenye mic but pia rosary yupo ambaye anapitia vitu ambavyo ni vya kawaida katika maisha so um, kipindi kile mimi nilikuwa napitia kitu kinaitwa postpartum depression ambayo ni msongo wa mawazo ambao akina mama tunapitia baada ya kujifungua watoto so uh, kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo nilikuwa navipitia yani mpaka sasa hivi sidhani kama tunaweza tukavimaliza lakini kiufupi hicho ndo kitu ambacho nilikuwa na kiface lakini um, nilipata moyo sana 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 kwenye jamii yangu kwenye ku, ku, kwa familia yangu kwa wasanii wenzangu kwa serikali ya Tanzania kwa hiyo na washukuru sana kulikuwa na upendo pia kutoka Kenya kwa hiyo siwezi i cannot say um, that didn't happen so um, basically nilitaka kuwa sauti kwa ajili ya yule uh, mtu ambaye anapitia hicho kitu na hana platform hana sauti ya kuweza kusema jamani mi napitia kitu fulani you know mimi maybe nina followers wachache Mwenyezi Mungu amenijalia naweza nikaweka pale kwenye page yangu watu wakanishow waka love na yule mama au yule mtoto au yule kijana ambaye anapitia hicho kitu kwenye jamii anamwambia nani you know so it was very important to incorporate that in, in kwenye kwenye foundation yetu kwamba Rosary I am the voice of the the voiceless and the voice of the people ambao wanapitia mental health issues na hawajui wa, watano wapi so yeah a pengine tunaona environment yako ya kwanza we kuingia leo ni kanisa la PAG okay. na kuangalia rosary na yule rosary wa, wa, wa videos pale kwenye usanii na rosary ambaye tuko naye hapa ni watu wawili tofauti kwa mm. sababu tunakuona mtulivu hivyo ni nini sijui ni character ama ni script tunafuatilia hivyo na inategemea umekujaje yeah. <laughs> na inategemea pia na cause ambayo imetuleta mm. tumekuja hapa kwa ajili ya kuweza kutia moyo lakini mimi nime, nimeshangaa kwamba tumekuja hapa alafu mimi nikati wa moyo mm. na watu ambao nitegemea tunakuja kuatia moyo So I'm, I'm happy I'm excited kwamba tumekuta community ya watu ambao already wana wana wanajipa moyo na nguvu um, na wana wana wanaweza kujisimamia hata kwenye kwenye mambo ya, ya spiritually um, that is something ambayo iko very dear to my heart mimi personally kwa sababu nawaambiaga watu mimi mimi Mungu ndo kila kitu kwangu watu wanakuwa ah wewe unaombaga kweli unaona lakini ni muhimu sana kumweka Mungu kwanza katika kila kitu ambacho tunakifanya kwa sababu inakuwa ni rahisi kufuata ile misingi au the, the, the steps ambao ambazo Mungu ameweza ame, ame, ame kutupa kwenye 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 uh, spiritually so basically i'm, I'm ha very happy kwamba tumekuja hapa na, na tumetia moyo lakini pia tunaondoka tukiwa tumetiwa moyo so that's good na pengine i, I think that, uh, kakangu aliuliza hivyo kwa sababu ukiona video zako background nini details Eh, mtu anaweza sema kwamba Rosari mwenyewe aende kanisa. Mm. Uwaenda kanisa. Msishwa sana na Illuminati. Okay. Ukweli mimi sikumbuki mara ya mwisho nimeenda kanisa. Mm -hmm. Lakini kanisa siamini kama kanisa ni, ni jengo. Mm -hmm. Kanisa au ibada na Mwenyezi Mungu ni kitu ambacho ki, kipo ndani yako. Ni kitu ambacho unaweza ukakaa ukakifanya ukiwa chumbani. 
yani ni, ni kitu ambacho you, you can do it when you're walking down the street so for me i i w- sita kuwa muongo nikasema ah, every sunday church that's a lie lakini i i i also have ninakuaga na ibada zangu mwenyewe kivyangu na mwenyezi Mungu so hicho ni kitu ambacho it's very dear to me na nimetoka kwenye familia ambayo pia tuna tunaichukulia serious um, kwamba mimi pamoja na familia yangu kwa jumla tunakuaga tunakaa tunakuwa na ibada zetu na sala zetu kwa ajili ya Mwenyezi Mungu so yeah nikisonga kidogo tingi entertainment kidogo wewe ni rap Pengine kwanza utupe chorus before nirushe swali langu. Watu waende YouTube bana. Tumechana <laughs> Tume miaka mingi sana kari. kwanza kuchana kwenye mic hapa mm-hmm. kwenye interview. Ah yeah, sasa yeah. juzi kidogo tumeona pale kumekuwa na beef between Tanzania na ilianza na kwetu ku Calligraph mm-hmm. akikuangazia wewe alafu katoa hit yako pale. Pengine uhusiano yako na Calligraph ni gani? Nadhani tunatakiwa tuzingatie zaidi kilichotuleta hapa. Mm-hmm. Kilicho tuleta ni, ni kitu ambacho ni cha amani na upendo mm-hmm. na God is love si ndio tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya Mwenyezi Mungu nimetoka mbali nimetoka Tanzania huko ndichi unaelewa nimekuja hapa kufata watu kwa ajili ya kuatia mo Mkweli. kwa hiyo um, hicho kitu ni kitu ambacho kinatakiwa kuonyesha kwamba kiukweli nimekuja kwa amani na kwa upendo Uh, vitu vingine tuviache kwenye kwenye mambo ya, ya miziki si ndio watu wakibato huko mtu anatoa ngoma mwingine anatoa ngoma tunabato kwenye kazi si ndio huko kwenye maisha tunapendana tuna tunasambaza upendo hata ile ilikuwa ni kusambaza upendo na nadhani ni rusu niulize swali uh, kwanza hongera mfanye vizuri sana Sante. na hii issue ya Tanzania na Kenya imekusaidia sana umaarufu wako nchini Kenya kosi ulikuwa hapo awali mfanye kazi na Kenya before mm-hmm. but tumeweza kupata mashabiki wapi ya sana watu wamekuiga kitu cha kwanza ambacho ninapenda ni kukifanya ni kuwaonyesha kwamba uh, kuna kuna more to life than what meets the eye na ndio maana kitu cha kwanza ambacho nimekifanya baada ya kuja Kenya ni kitu ambacho kina kina kina, kina tujaza, uh, kwenye kiroho sio kitu ambacho kina tu, maybe kina, kina, kina tujaza kwenye 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 mitandao ya kijamii kwa hiyo tu, 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 ku, kuweza kuleta furaha kuweza kuleta moyo that that's my 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 mo kwenye mziki wangu na that's why that is the first thing ambayo i did when i came to kenya na i i will keep doing this uh, to just spread um, love and you know and love and love and love and and pengine rosary tumeona pale mwanamuziki wetu Nadia Mkami ameweza kuwa akapata award mm. ya yeah, the, the best female artist mm. na kidogo tunaona unaangazia wanadada na pengine una award gani kwa mm. Nadia Mkami uh, award um uh, anafanya Nadia Mkami ni ni msanii ambaye anafanya vizuri sana na nimewahi kufanya naye ngoma kuna ngoma nimefanya na Nadia Mkami pamoja na Saru inaitwa Mua Um, so she killed it kwenye ule wimbo i've never had a doubt um kwake kwenye sana yake so um hata ile award it was just it I, i'll say it's long overdue kwa hiyo kama unipata award congratulations my sister na um, i'm happy to see um that juzi tu amekuwa mama yes, yes. amepata mtoto kwa hiyo um i know exactly what it's like um to be a mother and to to conquer at the same time and to 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 push pull doors kwa hiyo it's a it's a good thing it's a big thing so big up sana kwa Nadia Mkami mm, na pingine awards zimeanisha kitu kwenye industry ama ni awards tu no awards zina sehemu yake mm-hmm. um, ni ni vizuri sana pale ambapo mtu anafanya kitu ukampa pongezi uh, kwamba ah leo ni mrembo leo ume, umependeza by the way green inakufaa you know not that you you left the house not knowing that you look beautiful you probably know that you look beautiful and that's why you took your time kuweza kuji, kufanya kujiweka sawa lakini ukiambiwa ile kitu inakutia moyo zaidi inakupa hama masa zaidi. So it's the same kind of analogy when it comes to awards kwamba um, tumekuwa tunafanya hii kazi muda mrefu na ndio maana nimesema wow I knew kwamba she, she, she was good. You know it, it was long overdue kwamba it's good that now watu wana, wanaweza kumpa maua yake. Um, na so awards nafasi ya awards ni, ni kama hivyo ku boost morale ya mtu na kumuongezea kwamba yeah you're doing good keep doing it keep doing what you're doing na pia kuwaonyesha hata ambao wanakuja 
kwamba um yeah we're doing this and it's possible kufika same plan so that's hiyo ndo nafasi ya award to me but when it comes to kama mtu anajijua kama yeye ni noma mtu anatakiwa ajijue unatakiwa ujijue wewe kwanza kabla hujaambiwa that's how it should be yeah na pengine swali langu la mwisho huko hapa pengine tumeona uko na mambo mingi unayaweka kwenye wiki nzima ya kufanya mm. utaingia studio ni na mwanamuziki yeyote huko tutajua vitu vingine mnatakiwa mimi na viacha vinakuwa surprise <laughs> eh queen of rap rosary goddess goddess queen tulipita zamani <laughs> maybe goddess eh. right, maybe kumalizia nikitaka maybe uongeleshe na wasanii ambao maybe wanachukua wasanii ambao wanakuangalia siku zote yeah. na maybe ile beef yetu ambayo ilikuwa Tanzania na Kenya imeweza kuwasaidia vipi wasanii wa Tanzania na wasanii wa Kenya ah uh, niseme tu kile kitu kilikuja kwa nadhani kilikuja ni kizuri kwa sababu sometimes kwenye kwenye maisha unaweza ukawaza kitu kizuri kikaja labda na gia mbaya you know lakini at the same time pia kinakuwa ni ni, ni, ni kizuri kwa hiyo um mimi naweza nikawapa moyo tu wasanii ambao wanachipukia ambao wanakuja um, ni muhimu sana kuweza kujiamini katika kitu ambacho unakifanya kuweza ku, ku, kujielewa um, na kwenye sanaa kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo viko nje ya hiyo sanaa ambayo unaiona kuna discipline kuna heshima kuna um, kuna ku, ku, kama nilivyosema kujielewa kwa sababu we take for granted how much kujielewa ni muhimu katika kuwa disciplined katika maisha ukiwa ujielewi mtu anaweza kaja akakwambia ah we hauna ya nothing ukaamini lakini kama una una, una, una ile kujielewa na kwamba me i know my value i know my worth Um, una, una uwezo wa kusimama na kusimamia kitu chako. Kwa hiyo wale ambao wanakuja niwaambie tu kitu cha msingi sana kabla hujaingia kwenye sanaa lazima uangalie afya yako ya akili kwanza ianze hapo kwamba mimi in my mind I am dealing with things kihivi. Kama nina traumas I will deal with them kihivi. Um, kama nina vitu ambavyo sija 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 deal navyo nita deal navyo ili niweze kupata kesho ambayo ni imara zaidi. Kwa hiyo um, ni niwape moyo tu kwamba kuna vitu vingi ambavyo lazima utadeal navyo. Most of the people wanaingiaga kwenye sanaa hawajui wakipata fame wanailuse au wanafanya vitu ambavyo sivyo wana spread the wrong things kwenye jamii. Kwa hiyo pale ambapo unataka kuingia kwenye sanaa anza kwanza na nimekaaje kiakili. Alafu baada ya hapo basi ukipata ile fame au ukipata ile zile hata pesa. Kwa sababu pesa pesa mara nyingi tunasemaga pesa ni shetani. You know kwa sababu shetani anajua sana kuitumia kuweza kuwa ku, ku, convince watu kufanya vitu vibaya. Kwa hiyo ukipata ile fame au ukipata ile pesa unatakiwa utumie vizuri katika jamii ili kuweza kuleta ku, ku, ku generation inayofuata vizuri. So um, ni, ni wape moyo wasanii ambao ambao mnachipukia ambao mnaamini kwamba mimi na kipaji. Remember that fire inside you kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo unatakiwa kuvitumia kama fuel kuweza kuipropel ile moto ambayo iko ndani yako. Kwa hiyo keep doing what you're doing don't stop do not stop kwa sababu persistence is key persistence ni kitu ambacho ni lazima practice makes perfect kwa hiyo keep practicing your craft keep doing what you do um and heshim kila mtu umekutana na mtu barabarani usimkosee heshima watu wengine ni wabaya unaweza ukamkosea heshima ka akafanya kitu kibaya you never know lakini pia um hata biblia inasema Sometimes we entertain angels bila kujua. Kwa hiyo watu wengine ni wazuri sana inaweza ikakubariki katika namna kubwa. So heshima, kujielewa, kuwa persistent na pia kujiamini. Ila pia tuna nina program ambayo inaitwa collab na Rosary ambao nina na kuaga na wa, na waleta artists ambao wanachipukia pamoja na season 2 yake inaanza very soon I think in the next um two or three weeks um so um yeah that's also coming and i, I hope kwamba kuna vipaji vingi sana vitatoka hapo pia kuna artist ambaye tulifanya naye Kenya um the last collab na Rosaria ambaye tutakutana naye tukiwa hapa and i'm i'm hopeful kun, kuna vitu vikubwa vitatoka out of that yeah asante sana